Greetings, boys and girls, from the Alberta Pepper Lab. Hi, Mongo. <coughs> Say hi to YouTube. You always want to be on camera. No? Okay. All right. Well, anyways, sorry about that, guys. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a update on what I've got growing on in here. Got a big mess down there that I'm going to clean up. There's a lot of work that I'm going to do today, uh, you will find out why if you continue watching the video. Okay, so, down in here, that is my white devil's tongue. It has not produced any pods since those last few that I had. Uh, I got a pod here on my habanero, which is this guy right here, right there. He uh, He's not doing the best. Look in here. Look at that. All the new growth is getting eaten away. Eaten away by what, you ask? Thrips. I have thrips. I have the fungus gnats that I have failed to eliminate, and now I have thrips. So that, that sucks. Uh, okay, this right here is my Butch T. Trinidad Scorpion. I just love how this thing is growing, it's huge. It is uh, approximately three and a half feet tall by four feet wide. And just just giving her, man. Just giving her. Once again, no pods. You know why? Because thrips will eat in those flowers and kill kill them before they can make pods. And it's, it's just super duper, super duper annoying. I can't even take all of this stuff and put it outside as we have sub-zero temperatures. All right, well, moving along. Over here, I have aloe, aloe, aloe. They're doing okay. I have Christmas cactus and Christmas cactus, which are kind of meh. They're not growing much. They don't have much going on. Uh, back in here, this guy. That is my red ghost pepper. That is the fellow that had root rot a long time ago and has made a wonderful comeback. Once again, I cannot get a pot on it to save my life because all of the flowers are dropping because of those dang thrips. Over here. Now she wants to say hi. Yeah. Okay. So over there is my white ghost. Once again, nothing. Nothing. Those... Fungus gnats and thrips doing their uh, teamwork on my peppers here. Uh, over here, this is my super chili cr crossed with a Jamaican hot chocolate. Getting lots of lots of pods on there. It's it's super duper prolific. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, down here is my contest Dorset Naga, looking great. Real bushy, super duper bushy. Got lots of lots of growth on there over here is my f2 basket of fire once again no peppers thrips killing thrips destroying but that is my uh my f2 basket of fire over here what are you scotch brains or red moa red moa contest plant once again looking pretty dang healthy okay that is the lower area Moving up to here, you guys can probably already see some of my problems. Look at this yellow boot. Look at this yellow boot. It, eh, I hurt it badly. Look at my mustard boot. I hurt it very badly. <sighs> my Peter Pepper. Having a rough day. Having a really, really rough day. I, uh, my orange boot. I did forget to water a couple times, and some of and those plants that I just showed you are suffering as a result of that. We go over here. You guys can see my tomatoes, which seem to be doing well. These are my quarter century tomatoes. Time to transplant them, I think. Uh, I've got a little flower growing on this guy right over there pretty awesome I got this going on look at that thrip damage I wonder if I can show you guys the stems and you can actually see the thrips feces on it yep disgusting the rest of the plants seem to be doing okay 
obviously some need to be transplanted. Over here, I have my mystery pepper. It's flowering, flowering. It's not going to produce anything though, because of thrips. Uh, we will see, we will see if I can, I don't know. All of my mystery peppers are flowering, doing great, uh, except for the thrips. Now I know why these leaves look like this on my, uh, on my chocolate bootla. Yeah, so anyways, all these little guys in here seem to be doing fine. I'm not going to go through all of the names. There's a, oh, I'm sorry. There's a bunch of stuff going on. Okay, over here we have my baby bleeder. Uh, some of you have seen me do my pod review of the baby bleeder. It is some kind of insane cross that was uh, given to me, and it does not produce any seeds. So this is the the only one of its kind and the only kind there will ever be of it. So I'm hesitant to get rid of it, but I also have very little use for the baby bleeders. They're bleeder pods, but they are about this big. They're tiny little things. They're great for snacking on and they're pretty, pretty hot, but I just, uh, I don't have any use for it. Down here, my germination station. My germination station, I'm gonna lift this up. Look at how many things I have that did not germinate. Did not germinate, I'm pretty sure some of my pests got in there. I will have to redo all of that. I just bought another 72, um, 72 cell tray to start growing in, but I have plans to do before I can start planting anything. As you can see, I have some diatomaceous earth. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Some DE. I have my Safer Zendol. This is a topical spray that I use. So what I plan on doing, and maybe I will make a video on it, maybe I won't, you guys will find out. But I'm going to remove the top inch of soil on all of this stuff. Also the stuff growing in there. And then I will put some, uh, I will start water, bottom watering with poison that will kill the bugs and um, put down some diatomaceous earth again. And uh, to be honest guys, if that doesn't work, if that doesn't work, I have to get rid of everything. Uh, I've, I've been fighting a long time with these pests and I'm almost starting to believe that a scorched earth policy will be my best bet. So I'm giving it one last go, one last battle with the thrips and um, uh, fungus gnats. After that, if I don't see an improvement within a couple weeks, if I don't, if I don't get rid of the bugs, I will remove everything and unfortunately, I won't have much content for you guys, but we will have to see how that goes. If I do disassemble everything, if I take everything down and get rid of all the plants, I will make a video about that. I'm going to be super sad to get rid of that guy. This has been my pride and joy. This has been my pride and joy. So, yeah, I just... It makes me sad to have to get rid of it, but I will if I have to. These pests are just driving me insane. Over here in the grow tent, Mongo, hi, you're in the way. Over here in the grow tent, I have my F2 basket of fire, my, the bonsai. You can see there's peppers on it, but the peppers are squishy. They are uh, not doing the best. They're yeah, I know, Mongo. Okay, so over here is my Scotch Brains. Over here is my Cayenne, which seems to be resistant to the pests. I'm not sure if that's um, normal for the strain, but this thing is still producing great, great little pods, and it's going strong. So maybe I can only grow Cayenne. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this right here is my BTR. Uh, once again, everything's dropping on it. Uh, bugs are doing uh doing their thing so yeah that's what i've got going on that's what i've got going on so like i said i'm gonna take measures i will remove one inch of the soil from everything here i will give a topical spray of end all i will use diatomaceous earth 
And if that doesn't work, I don't know what to do. I will honestly just have to start over from scratch. Uh, obviously, like, there's a big mess down there that I need to clean up and stuff, so... There's a bunch of work that I'm going to do today, and yeah, I wanted to plant a bunch of more stuff, but I'm afraid to plant it because of these dang pests. So, yeah, I'm going to try to going to try to save the plants, but if I can't, I will have to be ruthless and throw everything out. So, wish me luck, guys. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great day. Bye-bye.